Hey guys, welcome to the new video of Microsoft Online Learning. In this particular video, we will be discussing about some portion of data view. We will be starting with uh, one of the feature of data view that is available in which we can encrypt any sensitive data. So having said that, uh, it, it uh, has something to do with encryption. Okay, so to start with, uh, we will first go with the concept building as usual through the official mule documentation and after that we will deep dive using some of the use cases so let's start so this is the official mule documentation 4.3 and we are searching for dw crypto crypto uh, crypto this model provides the function that perform encryption through common algorithms such as md5 sha1 SHA-256, SHA-512, different uh, algorithms will be there. So we will be making use of that. It says uh, you have to import all the libraries from DW Crypto uh, by adding it to the header of our database script. And these are the particular functions which are available um, like HMAC binary, HMAC with MD5, SHA-1, hash with. So we will be going through all these functions one by one. So let's start with one of the samples. I will quickly open the Anypoint Studio. We'll right click, go for new, new project. I will name this as DW Crypto and click on finish. This is using 430 as the latest one. I will expand this and maybe I can just drag and drop transform message. In this particular use case, I will be more concentrating on the functionalities of DW function. So you can also add the source as usual like HTTP listener or file or database, whatever you want. But our main emphasis will remain on the transfer message capability. So that's why I have added this one only. Okay. So after that, we have to import, import DW colon colon crypto. Okay, and it will be good if we can convert this to JSON. I will quickly open up the preview as well. So I will first start with HMAC binary. Okay, so what I will do HMAC binary, and this is just the name that is a placeholder, and after that it will be taken crypto and hmac binary and I think it takes two parameters the first one is the the keyword or the basis on which the rest of the key rest of the content will be encrypted so the first is the key so key let's suppose I have typed mulesoft but this should be in binary format so I have converted it using binary and after that the content here the content as you can see I have typed nothing and it has converted that nothing or the empty space into the uh, HMAC binary equivalent so let me put something over here let's put Yahoo as binary and this is the output of uh, this particular uh, field is the payload or the content which you want to encrypt and this is the key on basis of which it will be encrypted uh, by default it is the uh, hmac binary sha1 uh, if i'm not wrong so let's go to the hmac binary ones okay my internet is not working so let me switch it on back So if you go to the HMAC binary, so HMAC SHA1 is by default it is using and it is converting it into the equivalent value. Now we will go to the uh, next one that is HMAC width. Okay, HMAC width. I will put a call, comma and I will type HMAC width. Okay, and I will follow the same 
at root crypto then h mac with i will press this and again here it will ask similar things so i will copy paste just the above one the main difference will lie in the algorithm part so let me copy paste this one and we have to specify the the algorithm over here so algorithm will be uh, SHA-256 or SHA HMAC SHA-512 so I will first pick up this one HMAC HMAC SHA-256 okay so in order to distinguish properly I will mark this as 256 okay and secondly I would like to repeat this entire thing with 512 show as well okay so basically this will be repeated but I will change it to 512 and similarly here I will convert it to 512 so here you can see uh, the length is increased and even the uh, encryption is being changed all in lowercase hexadecimal stream okay there are some other functions as well which are available so I will again go back to here and will check like MD5 okay so MD5 transforms the incoming binary result into a hexadecimal lowercase string so you need not to pass any um, an algorithm uh, separately because it will work directly on MD5. So crypto uh, maybe MD5 we will pass uh, Yahoo as binary and let's see the conversion. See you can see the conversion of MD5. Similarly, <coughs> so for that. Uh, we will go for uh, SHA-1 so SHA-1 will also convert the incoming binary value to the equivalent SHA-1 conversion encrypted uh, hexadecimal uh, value so basically uh, SHA-1 will be crypto uh, using SHA-1 and I will pass the same uh, field value Yahoo as binary. So here you can see that you can compare the uh, encryption values are different. Of course, it will be different because it is uh, earlier it is for MD5, now it is for SHA1. Okay. Now we will be going with hash width. Okay. So hash with the value content being using a specified algorithm so it will ask for two things first is the uh, the content or the payload that needs to be encrypted and second the specified algorithm so content and algorithm we need to pass on okay so what I will do this is for hash with okay so I will type something like hash with uh, first one I will like to take MD2 crypto colon colon hash width okay now binary and then string so binary is same I would like to keep the same so that we can identify what are the changes and this is MD1 right MD2, sorry, sorry, sorry for that. MD2, there is nothing like MD1. So, it is saying something is not wrong. Something is, ah, uh, yes, so here it goes. Ah, uh, yeah. So now it's fine. I will now quickly copy paste this thing. This is for MD2. Similarly, we can find for MD4. 5 MD5 
so uh, you have already seen this md5 value but this is hash with md5 that's why the encrypted values are different raster changes like again after that sha1 uh, sha1 so i will type here sha1 and with sha256 Let me show hyphen two fifty six. Does it three thirty four as well? Yeah. So show three eighty four. Show hyphen three eight four. Comma. And the last one is five hundred twelve. Show five hundred twelve. So this is SHA-512. So here you can see the value is getting, I am just uh, telling on the basis of the preview because we cannot uh, put our heads in conversion of hexadecimal lowercase string to the actual values but this is all about what I am trying to say. As we move from hash with SHA-1 to 256 then 384 then 512 you can see uh, there is a continuous change in the length of the encrypted value and this value gets changed every time depending upon the payload but in other words if you are taking this uh, this particular payload remaining same and you are using the same uh, algorithm then this encrypted value will remain same so the advantage of this DW crypto uh, is to like if you want only a specific section of your payload any specific element you want to encrypt you can use these data wave functions to encrypt your value and use it accordingly. So I hope you like this video uh, this is a very short one and we will continue to build on top of this and we'll try to explore more DW functions available within the library. So thanks for joining and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.